Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing this makeup look right here. It's all fall inspired and I love fall and I love fall makeup. Fall makeup is the best. So we're just going to get into this tutorial and as I'm sitting here now, this is a pre-filmed video so I'm in my dorms at the time that you're going to be seeing this. But I just wanted to let you know that this is not real life right now. I don't know if that even makes sense. But this is the last video that's going to be pre-filmed and it's going to be in this space. So from now on, all the videos will be in my dorm or in other places. Who knows where I'll film. But yeah, without any more rambling, let's get on right on into this video. As you can see, I already started my brows off camera. I normally just do the same thing for my brows, which is using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Do I even use anything else? Probably not. And I use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I only did it partially because for some reason, I just like to outline the brows, then do my eyeshadow, and then fill in the rest of the brows. There's no rhyme or reason to why I do that. That's just what I like to do. So that's what we're gonna do today. I also wanted to address my skin. It is breaking out so badly. I don't know if it's from stress or the Cetaphil cleanser that I've been using, which I definitely think it's the Cetaphil cleanser because that stuff is known to break people out and it definitely has been breaking me out a lot. But luckily I'm almost done with the bottle that I bought so that I don't have to keep using it and I don't want to waste it. So my skin should be looking better soon, but for now, this is what we have to deal with, so we're gonna get started. The first thing that I'm gonna do is prime my eyes with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. I honestly have no idea how I haven't used this up already. Like I've had it for so long. How long is it gonna take? I don't know. So now we're gonna use a beloved favorite of mine, the Morphe 35O palette. I love this palette. It's the first eyeshadow palette I ever purchased. That wasn't like a six pan palette, but this is one of my babies and it is perfect for a fall makeup look. So we're gonna get started. We're just gonna use this white shade right here just to set down that concealer. The brush I'm gonna be using to do that is the Real Techniques Instapop Shade Brush. We're gonna use some go-to shades in this palette for me. It's these two right here. And I normally just use them interchangeably. They're so similar to me that I don't feel like it matters. So I'll just dip my brush into both of them. And I'm just gonna start working out a little crease right now. Lightly dusting it and then I'm gonna buff it in. By the way, the brush that I used to do that was the Morphe M441 because it's a go-to for me. Then we're gonna use this Equal Tools brush with the dual ended thing. We're gonna use the fluffy side and we're gonna take this shade right here and we're just gonna go a little bit lower in the crease just to start defining it and making it more sharp, I guess. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Same technique here where we're just lightly going back and forth in windshield wipe motions and then buffing it in. Now taking this angled shader brush, we're gonna tap into this orange right here and just dust it as close to the brow as we can just cause this orange looks super fall to me. So I feel like it'd be nice to just dust it a little bit very lightly. I'm barely pressing into my skin. Now we're just gonna take this dome shader brush and we're gonna go into this reddish brown shade right here in the corner. And we're actually gonna be just putting it on the outer corner and the inner corner. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a halo eye. So I'm just gonna stamp it in first before I start blending it. So for the center, we're gonna put a gold classic brown smoky eye with some gold. So we are going to use the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and the NYX 
matte finish spray and I'm just gonna spray this and we're gonna just apply some gold to the center the gold that we're gonna be using is this one right here it definitely has like a pink silver shift to it I feel like I'm just gonna dip into that now just going back in with the other brushes and quickly blending those edges out doing the same in the crease before we go back to the eyes later I'm gonna finish filling in my brows so I'm just gonna speed this part up and you can just watch that Now we're gonna move on to the skin. So I'm gonna use the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer. This is one of my favorite primers, if not my favorite. So I'm just going to start spreading them out. Then for foundation today, I'm going to use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade Porcelain. This is also one of my favorite foundations. My favorite by far has to be the Makeup Revolution Foundation. But this one is a second for me. I definitely think this one is really good. So I just put this on one of my beauty blenders. I'm just gonna pat it in. Now for concealer, we're gonna use the Morphe concealer in the shade C1. I actually really love this concealer. It's one of my favorites as well. I do think it creases a little bit, but other than that, it's not bad. Then for powder today, I'm gonna use the Glossier Wouter in the shade Light Medium. So I'm just gonna do concealer and then powder immediately so that it prevents some creases and then we'll keep going. See the difference that that gives? It's truly amazing how it looks after that step. So I hope you guys are starting to get used to me only uploading on Mondays. I don't want to only upload on Mondays, but that's really all that I have time for. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I talked about this in my August favorites video. So make sure you check that out so that you can understand what I mean. But I am only going to be uploading on Mondays. So that's what you can expect from me. Now we're gonna do a little bit of contouring. So I'm gonna use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and my Morphe M510 brush. So I'm going to contour right here and on the other side. I'm gonna contour my jawbone and lightly we'll contour your nose, why not? For actual bronzer today, we're going to use the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 200 and the brush I'm going to use is the Morphe M523. I'm just going to take this and then I start this way and then I go this way to buff and I go by my ear a little bit. For blush today, we're going to use the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Dulce Pink, and then the brush we're going to use is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Now, I don't know about you, but in the fall, I like to be a little bit more glowier than I am in summer. And the reason why is because the summer is when I am really oily and naturally very luminous, and I don't need to use products to make me more luminous. But as we start to get to the fall and it starts to get colder, I kind of like a little bit of glow. So that's why I'm using this shimmery blush today. And I like to take it across my nose a little bit. For highlighter, we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the sun dipped version. And we're going to use the shade Summer, which is ironic since we're doing a fall makeup look. But that's what we're gonna use. And if you didn't see a video that I posted a while ago, I got this highlighter kit from somebody that I went to church with that gave me a bunch of makeup, which is so nice of her to do because I never would have bought this for myself, but I do love this highlighter. It's a very intense blinding highlighter too, 
which can be fun. Now just to go over that intense highlighter, I'm gonna go back in with my blush brush just to blend things together. And we're actually gonna go ahead and set the base. So I'm kind of actually going to implement the three-step setting routine that Ally Glines does. So I'm gonna show you how it goes. First, we're gonna use some sort of hydrating primer spray type of deal. And this one I really love. I don't know if it's necessarily hydrating, but I do love this one. It's the Mario Vinescu Rose Water Facial Spray. So I'm just gonna spray this on my face and pat it in with a beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna go with the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. That one I kind of fan to set. Then the last step, I know this is kind of extra, but this is the last step, is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. And I'm just going to put this in the places that I especially get oily. So the T-zone area. Just like that. So now let's go back into the eyes. So what I want to do for the eyes is I actually kind of want to do a little bit of an eyeliner type of look. So we're going to go in with this shade right here and I'm going to be using and I'm just going to put it right near my lashes on my lid and kind of do a little bit of an eyeliner type of effect. I definitely need a mirror for this so let me get out a little mirror. So now that we did that, we're also going to do it on the lower lash line as well, using the same brush and the same color. Now we're going to use that dual-ended brush from earlier, and we're going to use this shade right here, just to extend the lower lashes, just lightly, dusting it underneath. Then for an inner corner highlight, we're going to be using this gold shade, which is a lot brighter. And we're going to use the Real Techniques Instapop crease brush to do that. I'm also going to spray this one as well. Now I'm just going to touch up the brows, make sure they're okay. If you haven't noticed, brows are very important to me, so that's why I put so much work into my brows. Now we're going to go ahead and curl our lashes. And I'm actually going to be using a new mascara to me. I just earlier went today to Ulta and I saw one of my managers there. So I was talking to her about makeup and she recommended this to me. I've also heard it from so many other people anyways, but it's the Essence Lash Prince. It's the Essence Lash Princess Mash. It's the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. It's the False Lash Effect one. Let's see what this wand looks like. The packaging is A1, so it's not very thick. It's actually very thin, but I'm excited to try this. Wow, I'm thoroughly impressed. Oh my gosh. My lashes haven't looked that good in so long. I'm in love. That is so good. I recommend this to everybody. This is really good mascara. The last thing that we got to do is lips. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna use this EOS for moisture. Then we're gonna use this tardiest lip paint in the shade Festival. It's like a pinky purpley type of color. It's a liquid lip and we're gonna be using this today. So, that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspires you to get a little bit creative for fall. Fall is the makeup prime time, okay? So, if you are scared about exploring makeup, fall is the time to do that. So, make sure you take advantage of it now that it's September and yeah. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye, guys!